Hello friends and welcome back to my second video about Google Apps Script. You know during this coronavirus outbreak I said we should do something useful, we should learn something together. So here we go. Well today's video will be an extension to what we developed in a previous video so you may need to watch that one before going ahead with this. Anyways, I'm assuming in this video that you have a website or an online store where you ask the visitors to fill in a form and after submitting the form you receive an email that looks similar to this one here well um, you know the problem is you are not really interested in all the information that uh, this email contains you just need the data that the users key in in the form like the name email address phone number nationality and maybe the products or services that they are interested in so uh, from the code that we developed in a previous video, we are going to extend the functionality to get this data from within the body of the email. So um, previously we had come out with a menu and it contains an item. Once we press it, a pop-up screen appears asking us to key in the label of the email. So I'm going to assign a customer submission e label to this email and put it in here. Once we do that all the information of the email is listed here. So let's go ahead by now and just develop a code to parse or get the data from within the email that we receive. Okay. So we are going to modify this function here. Okay. So we created variables with the date and time, subject, sender, and a body contents. However, I'm going to replace these variables with a simple object called email data, and this will contain all the information that we want. So the first one is the date. We will have the subject. So for now, we have an object that contains properties of all data that we want from within the email. Oops, I forgot the body property, so let's add it. So I'm going to use the same code here, put after the object initialization. So this one will be email data, second will be email data dot subject. And we have the get from method here which is basically the email address that you receive this email from. So we are going also to add it in here sender and I initialize it with null so this will be email data dot center this will be the body of the email dot body well so this variable is going to contain the full body of the email here as text which is this one basically so now it's time to find a way to get the desired information well the clue here is that we need to find specific text or keywords that do not change by time and from these keywords we can find our desired data so as you can see here we have the full name text we have email address phone number I'm assuming that these texts or keywords do not change by time because initially when you set up your online form you just specify the data that you want and these will not change by time. Take these as, key as keywords and find any words that come after. Well this, well this could be possible by using regular expressions. I'm not getting into details to explain what regular expression is here, however I'm just going to explain briefly so that you get the idea behind and understand the code that we are using today. Well now let's get the full name from the body of the email. Email data dot full name is equal. Well we should use the body of the email and we'll use a method called match. This match takes a, a criteria which is in a form of regular expression so here we will have a regular expression we open two parentheses question mark less than or equal and our keyword and here I'm gonna put dot and star 
So what this basically is telling is that I want to get any text that comes after this keyword. This is called a look behind assertion. And of course, the text will be taken until the end of the line. Okay? And we do the same for the rest of the data that we want, like the phone number, we change just this text. Now to make our code neater and easy to modify later, I'm gonna list all the keywords in an object. So we have the email keywords equals and I'm gonna simply have all the things that we want like the phone name, phone number, email address and so and so on. So this one is the first keyword for the phone name I'm gonna have the phone number, phone number, email address, we have the nationality, wish list items, okay good and now in our regular expression here, we cannot simply use variables instead of this text. So we need to create a regular expression object or instance. So here we go, I'm going to create a, an object called regx. And this one, I'm going to assign it a new regular expression. This is a way how we create an object from a regular expression. We are going to pass the text that we want. So I'm going to copy this without the slashes because this function is going to return the slash by default. The fixed text will be in double quotation and our variable will be email keywords dot full name plus double quotation. Okay, good. So now we have created our regular expression variable we can use it in our match method. Let's debug this code and see how things will work. And I'm gonna run the debug. Okay, so we have the regular expression. I'm gonna further execute this. Let's see our local variables, which is the email data. So here we go, we have the full name and we got the name out of the body of the email. However, you will see that this one is an array and our name contains a space. So we better change this array into a string. We just need the name, so we will get only the string of that array. So here we say to string and I'm gonna trim the trailing and the leading spaces by using the trim method. Okay, let's do the same for all the other information that we want. Okay, email address. Nationality. and the wish list items okay close the debug mode let's now debug again and see whether we can get all the information or not sorry just copy the label and put back here and we try out Alright, so we have phone name, email address, phone number, the country, and the list of items that that exist in here. Right? That's really cool. So now let's populate all of this data into our sheet as a new row. So we have this method which we used in a previous video. Um, it accepts an, a list of items in a form of an array and the index of that array is actually representing the column that we want that data to be listed in. So for example, the date and time is actually the first um, item, so it will be placed in the first column. 
the center details it will be placed in column B and so on and now let's replace these old variables with our new object properties however this line will be very lengthy so I'm gonna create an array it's called email data array equals to this so I'm gonna loop through all the properties that we've got in our email data object so this will be um, variable and property name or just the key of the property in our email data object and we can actually push use the push function to put the email data and we can have the property name in here so that's a way how we have all the data information inside of our array and we can simply use that array in here like that however the order of the columns will follow the order that we have here so the body will be placed as a first column then we will have the date center so, so it might be now very important to reorder the properties we list in our object so I'm gonna I'm gonna put the body before the phone name and the other data that we want and that's it let's run now the code I key in the label and here we go we have all the information that we have let's go right so I'm gonna delete this row here okay good so we can see this is a phone name email phone number nationality and wish list items so if you've got many emails that are assigned the same label they will be listed automatically here in a new row alright I think that's all for today I hope you're not going to fire your employee who does all of that manually you know guys I have plans for other videos like putting all these data the contact of the submitter into Google contacts so that they get synced to your phones and becomes easy to contact them directly without copying the, the numbers and putting them manually in your um, contact list so I really appreciate it if you can subscribe you get updated and see you later bye bye